Hey everyone, on this week's episode, we got a special screening of the movie Life Mark. And so we just wanted to share our thoughts with you about this pro-life movie. So stay tuned. Hey, we're Drew and Katie Taylor from Catholic Link. And we are so excited to provide you this movie review, but we also want to invite you to subscribe to the channel if you find value in this or you're looking for other resources because really our goal is to provide your link to live your faith like never before. And so we got a special screening of the new movie Life Mark by the Kendrick Brothers, uh, which is a a Christian pro-life movie. And I, I think the first question that everyone has when they hear of a Christian movie is, is it cheesy? And so my answer to that would be no. And here's why. I would say it is emotional. It's, it's dramatic. The story is about a young man, David, who is adopted. And when he turns 18, his birth mom reaches out to him. And through a series of events, he gets to meet his birth parents. So the story is emotional. My only regret is that I wish someone had told me to bring the tissue boxes but the, I, I think the reason for me why it's not cheesy is because it's based on a true story about um, the real life David made a documentary about um, this kind of journey that he has in, in finding himself and, and meeting his birth parents. And I think right now it's so important to expose ourselves to stories of adoption, of good stories. But this brings in the reality of the suffering of infertility or in this couple's case, the loss, infant loss of a child and then that desire within our heart. And so this story does have a lot of emotion in it Mm -hmm. uh, because it's real. And the reality is, is in the suffering of deciding what to do in an unexpected pregnancy, trying to figure out whether you were called to adoption are all areas of, of difficulty within our heart of places that the Lord draws us closer to him, ultimately through suffering. Yeah. So the next question I, I think is worth asking is, is is this a family film? And and I would say, you know, the, the story takes place about um, two high schoolers who have an unexpected pregnancy. And so if you have uh, kids that are in high school, that I think that would be an appropriate age to, as you guys are talking about this, again, like family dependent, um, but there are a lot of serious topics, so probably not um, for the littles if you have those in your family. Yes, our our five year old couldn't understand yeah. these concepts. So, uh, so th- that brings up the next topic of of just pro life, and I think this this movie does a really beautiful job, and I think we need more of these stories of the beauty of of providing life, of giving life. And, and that was something that, that stood out to me is David, the character, the, like the one thing that he said, the first thing that he said when he met his birth mom was he just thanked her for giving him life and, and for giving him, you know, up for adoption. And I think that's something that we don't talk about enough. Um, that when you choose life, you, you are giving another human being a chance at life. And I think for the mom, she expected him to be mad at her yeah. and angry and why wasn't I good enough for you to keep? And that wasn't the reaction and that wasn't their experience. And so this reality that he was just grateful and he loved the life he was given. And although he wanted a relationship with his birth mom and to figure that out, he also loved his parents that raised him and his mom and his dad. And there was just this deep desire to also console their hearts through the process. And I really think that it's important for us to continue to bring light to all of these difficult conversations because I can say that it is uncomfortable. Like it is uncomfortable to bring up the topic of abortion. Mm -hmm. The consideration of you know, any thoughts that go across a mom's brain that say, I don't want this child. Mm -hmm. And this video did a really good job of showing the experience of a woman going into an abortion clinic and in that process, making a choice to not have an abortion. Mm -hmm. And I think so often there's just so much guilt associated with even considering, even having the thought that I don't want this baby or 
going through with an abortion that we shut down the conversation and then we don't allow healing and we don't allow grace to be poured in there. And it's so good to bring these to the surface and say, just because you had that thought, or even if you went through with this action, there is redemption and healing that's possible. Yeah. No, those are really good points. I think too, you know, the other thing I thought about was uh, there are a lot of serious uh, topics that, that this movie brings up, uh, but I, I think that it does it in a really tasteful um, and, and ultimately in inspiring way. Uh, but one of my favorite parts of the movie was David's best friend, Nate, who is played by Justin Sterner, who does a fantastic job. And, and the direction in it is great because there are these really serious topics, but Nate, his best friend, is like this goofy, uh, fun you know, guy who, who's trying to film everything. So, you know, you have these, these serious moments where he like meets his mom, you know, and, and Nate's in the back, like trying to film everything or, or it, it just, it, it brings, uh, a, like a lightheartedness, um, and, and a, just a little bit of, of laughter and joy into some of the more serious parts. So I think it, it just balances it out really well. Absolutely. And I think uh, they just, they did a good job cutting him in yeah. at the appropriate times. And again, that was based off of a true life character uh, in David's life. And that, I, again, it being based in a true story cuts down on that cheesiness and allows us to see the potential. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, although Nate does have a pretty serious uh, situation towards the end, his sister, yeah, and and so for watching it, um, I, we got to watch it twice. And the second time, one of the more beautiful scenes I thought was at the end. So Nate's sister ends up um, having an unexpected pregnancy with her boyfriend, and uh, David is able to come talk to her, and just kind of share his story a little bit, saying that no, he was in his mother's womb 19 years ago when she went to that abortion clinic. But his mother chose life for him in the same life that that is inside of uh, Reese, Nate's sister. And so I think he also just brings up just the beautiful idea that if, if her and her boyfriend are, are not ready to raise this child, there are many, many men and women out there who are ready to be moms and dads. Yeah. And I, that story is sometimes not told. And yes, we need to make the adoption process easier, faster, cheaper, uh, accessible and feel like a real option for people and to start changing the narrative that it is a viable and good option uh, for life. And so I think that when we get these stories and we get to see the good way instead of, I think sometimes like TV drama is the uh, foster care in it for the check, abusive system. And that like storyline is what is like in my brain of what this looks like if I choose to go through with an unexpected pregnancy. And we need to get more stories out there of what it can look like in a culture, especially in a post row mm -hmm. world that we need to support moms and give them viable, good options and good families mm -hmm. to raise their kids. Mm -hmm. And so after we got to watch the movie, I went back and watched the original documentary um, that's called I Lived on Parker Avenue. And w one of the cool things was, in some ways, I felt like I was watching the movie twice because I think the Kendrick brothers, they, they did a really good job in being true to the story. Uh, and again, that, that just added more of the realism for me and, uh, and more of just the connection to, to the story, that this was a true story. Mm -hmm. We hope that you will take advantage of this story, yeah. of this movie, to expand your understanding of adoption, of the difficulty of making a choice, of considering an abortion, the healing that's needed uh, in that area. And I, I know that they also are coming out with a study and all sorts of resources for small groups. And so definitely check out uh, those. And if you have ever had an abortion, if you've ever considered an abortion, uh, we will definitely put some links down below for some healing resources mm -hmm. in the description. So thank you guys for tuning in to the Catholic link. We pray that this can be your link to living the faith like never before. And we're praying for you until next time. God bless.